Hi, I'm Carolyn Herforth with The Biz Truth, and everybody seems to want to be a thought leader these days, which I agree. Why wouldn't you want to be a thought leader? And so today I want to talk about the three non-negotiable steps to become, to get on your way to becoming a thought leader. So the first thing you need to do is know who you're speaking to. Who's your audience? What are their questions? You cannot speak to everybody unless you have really deep pockets and a huge budget in order to reach all those people. So start with who are these people? What do they want? What questions are they asking? What are their issues? What are their problems? What are their pains? So what's going on with them? And then the second thing you want to do is answer what do you believe to be true about their questions? What do you stand for on their behalf? What is it that pisses you off about their situation? What is it that just gets you so amped up? You're like, you just can't even handle, like you're bursting at the seams to try to help them figure out what the solution is. Why should they give a damn about what you see as the solution? And another thing that you could do that would really add some juice to this is if you have some industry stats or metrics or anything that can support or you could even go against what those stats are, that really becomes powerful and can lend credibility to your stand. And from a practical perspective, the third thing you need to do is define your pillar topics. So I'll give you an example because you're probably saying, what in the hell is a pillar topic? Pillar topics are the things that you talk about all the time. And for me, I have five pillar topics. So if you've been watching any of my videos or followed me for any length of time, you probably have them memorized. The first one is business model. Second one is thought leadership. Hello, I'm talking about thought leadership right now. Third one, marketing strategy. Fourth one, sales strategy. Fifth one is time, mindset, and priority optimization. So anything I do, anywhere I go is gonna tie into one of those five, if not more, pillar topics. So it's what you always talk about. If you go to my blog page, you see that the categories are those five categories. My nephews could probably recite what my five pillar topics are because they are gonna say, hey, Aunt Cal, this is what I want for Christmas. And I'm gonna say, well, I'm not sure if that really fits into my business model. Or how are you, what's your marketing strategy? What's your sales strategy for actually getting that? I'm kidding, um, but not too far off. Okay, and I'm gonna give you a bonus one too. So what's the context? What's the bigger picture that relates to what it is you're talking about? So I'm standing in a studio right now with one of my clients, Paige. Video marketing, that's what she does, is video marketing. So she could sit here and tell me about, oh, I get pissed off about bad lighting and sound and I can't believe people don't wear enough makeup or what, like she could sit and talk about the specifics of video. That's not really what she stands for. That's not what people are gonna, gonna come to her for or be attracted to her for. What she believes in is that everybody has a story. And for her, she wants to create that platform and the, the space for them to be able to tell their story. She stands for people being able to voice their story. Okay, does that make sense? So I'm curious, I wanna know what you stand for. I wanna know what your pillar topics are. I wanna know what's going on in your business. So comment on my blog, or if you're seeing this on Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn, or I don't care where you're seeing it, I wanna hear a comment. If you need to tag me, tag Carolyn Herforth and The Biz Truth. So can't wait to hear what you've got going on in your world and what you're doing to position yourself as a thought leader. Mm -hmm.